The Auburn and Large City School District finds themselves in dire need for more funding again this year. That has been exasperated due to the pandemic. News Channel 9's Madison Moore speaks with members of the district to learn more about the reality and how they're advocating for change. With budget cuts year after year, the Auburn and Large City School District is at their wit's end. They get to a point where a building is closed, our arts and music programs were slashed, our staff um, was cut significantly um, because every year there's cuts um, and you're not seeing any hiring. Um, that when that once that accumulates, we're pretty bare boned. Over the last decade, the school has cut 20% of its staff, and the district has some of the lowest spending per student in the state, part of the bottom 1%. Now compare that to neighboring school district Jordan Elbridge. Auburn is spending almost $10,000 less, and the pandemic only making those inequalities worse. We have large class sizes here, which really isn't conducive to COVID. Um, thus, the reason why we have a hybrid model because we can't fit all of our children into the same classroom. One of those students advocating for change, freshman class president Emerson Brown. I'm hoping that we get the same opportunities as other schools um, because with more funding, it comes a lot of new things that we haven't had access to. That is an unfair disadvantage to people and kids in Auburn. And they say they will keep advocating for fairness, one chant at a time. In Auburn, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. The school district is hoping New York State receives the $15 billion it's asking the federal government for this year, and they're urging elected officials to advocate for them before the final budget is passed in the spring.